75th All-State Sugar Bowl is underway. Opening kickoff taken at the one-yard line by Arenas. Arenas tackled at the 28-yard line by Clint Bauer. They're a little bit smaller. They're going to utilize their quickness. They're not going to line up and not be uh, fluid in their movements and line up in front of these big offensive linemen of the Crimson Tide. On second and six, off the play fake to Coffee. The catch is made by one of the two tight ends you spoke about, Darrell Nick Walker. Four receivers set. Coffee blown back. And Coffee tackled back at the 34 yard line. Loss of four yards on the play. And when we spoke with Paul Kruger yesterday, he calls these loose downs. This is where he's really worried about the quickness of Utah. Penalty markers prior to the snap. Wilson taken down back at the 26. P.J. Fitzgerald back at his own 15-yard line. Brent Castillo loses the football, but it bounces right into the hands of his teammate. Johnson over the top. First down and more. Jeremy Brooks. A great set of wide receivers to work with. And here's the group that I was impressed with during the week at practice. A very consistent offensive line. They work very well together. Two plays, two first downs. 33 yards on the first two plays for Utah. From the 35, Johnson going deep, and it is hauled in by Braden Godfrey. Three plays, three first downs. From the Alabama 13, the slant is caught at the six-yard line by Freddie Brown. Kareem Jackson made the tackle, gain of seven. Second down and three from just inside the seven. Complete diving for the end zone. Touchdown, Brent Castile. Stick with what you do. Wilson out of the shotgun on second and eight. And the pass is intercepted. And taken back to the 32-yard line by Robert Johnson. His third pick of the season. Four receivers set. Third and ten for the Alabama 32. Johnson firing downfield. And the catch is made for a first down inside the five by David Reed. Second and goal from the two. Asiata, touchdown. Third down at five, Wilson steps up and he picks up a first down. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Third down at nine for Alabama. Wilson can't find anyone. Wrapped up. Down he goes. Kemba Dyson starting for the injured nine for two. Fitzgerald back at his own 15-yard line, punting to Brent Castile. Bearcats called for at the 35-yard line. They got lost in Shreveport, Louisiana. And so after 38 hours and almost 1,800 miles, you guys, they finally made it here. And it was apparently worth every minute of the trip. Well, it certainly has been so far, Carissa. I might have gotten off in Dallas and gone to the airport and flown back home. And a pardon from the governor. Brown into... Alabama territory. Utah must get to the 45-yard line for a first down. Johnson takes off. First down. And more as he slides at the 39-yard line. First and 10 from the Alabama 40. Low snap. Johnson steps up, throws, and it's caught and taken down to the 33-yard line by Freddie Brown. They're not able to match right now with what Utah is putting out there offensively. Second down and three. Johnson for Castillo. Penalty marker. 
pass interference on a defense number 26, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic, first down. Five receivers set. Johnson looking left. He throws, and the catch is made, extending across the goal line for a touchdown, Braden Godfrey. Roman kicking off for the fourth time. Arenas on the return. Touch to his right. And Javier Arenas brings it all the way out to the 42. Uh, if Nick Saban is thinking any way, the same way I am right now, I would have my staff together and tell my players, hey, look at the clock right now. There is three minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Under three minutes remaining, first quarter. Wilson again under pressure. He gets rid of it to Coffey, who picks up a first down. Finally tackled at the 26-yard line. Third down and seven. Wilson under pressure. Down he goes. Back at the 37-yard line. Lee Tiffin out to attempt a 52-yard field goal. His career long is 54. His father holds the Alabama record at 57. Tiffin from 52. It is good. Five receivers set on first and 10 from the 24. Johnson complete. Bernie Brown, his fourth reception. What a game would be like when the Utes attended the New Orleans Saints game on Sunday. Johnson complete to Freddie Brown for a Utah first down. Well, no, I didn't. I'm sure Louis Sakota did. Absolutely. I don't think I'm going to punt tonight at all. Three-time Mountain West Conference Special Teams Player of the Year. Takes an Alabama bounce. Rolling into the end zone. Our first look at Mark Ingram in the backfield. Off the play fake. Wilson rolling right. Did not find it in one downfield. Game six. Third down and one. Ingram. And Ingram has a first down out to the 31-yard line. From the 31. Off the play fake. Wilson complete. First down, Julio Jones. Wilson out of the shotgun from the 48, dumps it off, and Ingram takes it down to the Utes 43-yard line. Ingram up the middle, close to an Alabama first down. Stover only five receptions all season. Eighth play of the drive, Ingram found the big hole, Puts up a first down and is finally tackled at the Utah 29-yard line by Robert Johnson. Ingram gains 13. Second down and six. Wilson wrapped up. Down he goes. Back at the 30-yard line. Tiffin hit from 52 earlier. This will be a 47-yard attempt. Placed down by Fitzgerald. And Tiffin's kick is wide to the left. No good from 47 yards out. Sakota handles the place kicking and the punting chores. He's one of the best in the nation. The second punt tonight. Taken at the 27 by Arenas. Arenas with five career punt return touchdowns. Arenas down the sideline. This is going to be number six. Javier Arenas. Sixth career punt return touchdown extending his school record 73 yard return. Has been cut down to 11 from the 26 yard line. Johnson's pass is caught by Brown for Freddie Brown, his sixth reception. Under five minutes remaining, second quarter. Asiana. Asiana. Losing the football, came loose at the 46-yard line. And the Utes 
retained possession. Remember, Arenas returns Sakota's last punt, 73 yards for a touchdown. Sakota from his own 39, end over end. Fair catch called for at the 13 by Arenas. John Parker Wilson and the Crimson Tide start from their own 14 yard line. Off the play fake to Coffey. Wilson to a wide open Julio Jones. Jones still on his feet. Finally brought down at the 44 yard line. You have to know where he is if you're with Utah. Again, it's Jones out to the 49. Alabama with two timeouts. Wilson looking. He throws. And again, it's Jones. Breaks it tied out of timeouts. Wilson moving to his left. Again, could not find anyone downfield. Clock continues to run. Now there's a penalty marker, a late flag thrown in the defensive secondary. After time expired for the first half, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the offense number four. We will enforce that foul, start of the third period, the half is over. Penalty is called on wide receiver Marquise Mays. So not only does Utah get the ball to start the second half, but Alabama is going to be kicking off 15 yards backed up. Utah should have great field position. Utah deferred after they won the opening coin toss, so they get the ball first here in the second half. Brent Castile on the return, and Castile takes it out to the 45-yard line. And the punt for the kickoff return by Castile. Penalty markers prior to the snap. Prior to snap, ball start on the offense. The 66, five-yard penalty. First down. Johnson steps up, loses the football, and it's recovered by Bobby Greenwood of the Crimson Tide. And he returns it to the Utah 30, the first Utah turnover. So they're at the 30 right now, not much farther to go to really be in a real easy field goal situation. Can Utah knock them back? Pass is caught by Julio Jones, gain of seven. A 52-yard field goal and an attempt from 47 earlier. From the 23, Coffey looks to turn the corner. It will depend on the spot. Wilson throws. The catch is made by the tight end, Walker. And Nick Walker takes it all the way down to the Utah five-yard line, setting up first and goal. Coffey in the backfield. Second and goal from the four. John Parker Wilson to the end zone. Touchdown, Glenn Coffey. Johnson and the Utes start from their own 29. Johnson steps up. He throws, and the catch is made by Freddie Brown. It's a first down and more. Brown into Alabama territory, and he is finally dragged down by Greenwood. Utah 0 for their last three on third down. Johnson making the connection with Godfrey. Johnson, quick release. And the catch is made by Reed. He breaks free. Touchdown, David Reed. 28 yards. Wilson on third and ten. Coffee. Coffee stays on his feet. He's close to a first down. Took a big hit from Stevenson Sylvester. Alabama offensive line. Without the suspended Andre Smith, without Mike Johnson, who started the game at left tackle, injured his ankle, will not return. Wilson for Nikita Stover, penalty marker. Bryce McCain on the coverage. Pass interference on a defense number one, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic, first down. Well, the Crimson Tide have lost 
Two key players from their offense tonight. Second down and seven. Wilson takes off. Wilson down to the 32-yard line. Now, does he get his athleticism from his mom, who was an Alabama cheerleader, or his dad, who was a third baseman who spent three years in the Boston Red Sox system? I think a little bit of both. So a third long field goal attempt. Tiffin hit from 52, missed from 47. This a 49-yard attempt. And Tiffin is unable to hit. Steve Smith and the Panthers will play on Fox a week from Saturday. The slant is caught by Brooks. Jeremy Brooks picks up a first down. Out to the 46-yard line, a gain of 15. 8 o'clock, Saturday, January 10th on Fox. Johnson, a pump fake, then he throws. And Godfrey inside the 45 to the 44. Louis Sakota back at his own 46. Bunting for midfield. Sakota put a little too much on it. Alabama trailing by 11. Play action. Wilson completes to Julio Jones on first down. Jones gains eight. Out to the 28-yard line as we check in with Chris Myers. Chris? Well, that was the big matchup, Chris, coming into this. How would that undersized, quick front of Utah hold up against this big physical Alabama offense? They've done a great job. John Parker Wilson going deep through the hands of Alexander. There is a flag. Well, Bryce McCain sees the flag. He's not arguing his point. Interference on a defense number one. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Sixth Utah penalty. Under a minute remaining, third quarter. Wilson, near side, complete. Glenn Coffey has returned to the Alabama backfield. Third down and three. John Parker Wilson, first play of the fourth quarter, is wrapped up and taken down back at the 48-yard line by Stevenson Sylvester, the sixth Utah sack tonight. P.J. Fitzgerald punting from his own 38. Castillo lets it go. It takes an Alabama bounce. And will be down at the one-yard line. Third down and nine, four wide receivers. Johnson from the end zone, complete to Freddie Brown, who picks up a first down. Brown missed some time on the previous drive. over end. Arenas lets it bounce. And it bounces and rolls. And will finally come to a stop inside the 17-yard line. 61 yards on the punt. Fitzgerald waiting. Back at his own 10-yard line. Castillo lets it bounce. Down at the 40. Brian Johnson of the Utes leading the Crimson Tide 28 to 17. Pass over the middle is caught by Freddie Brown. And he takes it into Alabama territory. First and 10 for midfield. The snap to Asiata. And Asiata takes it down to the 45. A gain of five. Again, it's Asiata. Asiata picks up a first down to the Alabama 39. Asiata inside the 35, the 30 to the 28. There is a flag. That is a big flag. On the offense, number 66. 10 yard penalty, second down. Low snap. Johnson. Complete 11th reception for Freddie Brown. Six sacks for the Utah defense. The Nissan Z Factor brought to you by the only Nissan 370Z with the world's first Citro Rev match manual transmission as Johnson is forced to throw it away on the pressure. Log on to Fox Sports. On the offense, number three. Penalties lost it down. Spotted pass. Fourth down. Arenas did return one for a touchdown 73 yards earlier. 
Alabama's first touchdown of the game. And a fair catch called for by Arenas at the 17 and a flag as Clint Maurer made contact. Kick catch interference. Kicking team number 89. 15 yards will be added to the dead ball spot. First down. On first down, Wilson to Julio Jones. Now, will John Parker Wilson be patient enough to give what the defense is allowing, or is he going to try and get over the top and force something? Second down and four. Wilson wrapped up, loses the football, and it's recovered by Stevenson Sylvester. The seventh Utah sack, the second Alabama turnover. But it was that Oregon State game when they came back and won it at the end that gave them the confidence in the field that this could be something special this season. Third down and six of trickery. Brent Castillo picks up a first down. And a late flag. After the runner went out of bounds, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the defense, number 49. Half the distance to the goal, first down. 28-yard attempt, Louis Sakota. Sakota connects. Second of the nation in scoring. Four extra points and a field goal. 249 remaining. As the kickoff is bobbled and taken at the 25-yard line by Huber. And the fullback. Then I kind of felt responsible for the whole thing. John Parker Wilson sacked. Guess who? Stevenson Sylvester. His third sack, the eighth for the Utes. Still got the roll, too. Third down and 18. Wilson moving to his left, looking. Now he fires downfield, and this ball will be intercepted. It's the second pick of the game for Robert Johnson. Three sacks for Sylvester, 322 yards in the air, three touchdowns for Johnson. The Utah Utes conclude a perfect season for head coach Kyle Whittingham, who spent three years of his childhood here in New Orleans. His late dad, Fred, a member of the New Orleans Saints. Kyle played for the New Orleans Breakers here in the Louisiana Superdome. A perfect season, 13-0, while the Alabama Crimson Tide finish up the year at 12-2. The Utah Utes, the champions of the 75th All-State Sugar Bowl.